show at Francisco Chicago and Andersonville on the first Friday of every month. Mm -hmm. Please welcome Meg Brennan. So my dad went and got me a folding chair so I could sit on it. Very nice. Uh, as I'm unfolding it, my mom runs in and she says, Hold on! There's a weight limit on that chair! Oh. <laughs> I looked it up immediately. That folding chair can hold 650 pounds! <laughs> <laughs> Bitch! <laughs> I, uh, potentially bump into 30 year old me and see what she was wearing and what she was doing. And I believe this for far too long, you know, late middle school, you know, a little too old to still be believing that. But I um, didn't think about it until a couple weeks ago. I was waiting at the corner of Lawrence and Damon for a bus, and uh, down to uh, Lawrence, there's this old woman wearing like a floor length jacket, and she's like jogging her heart up. She sees the bus coming, but she's not quite in the stop. And so she's running and trying to wave it down, like, please wait, you know, and she's running and, you know, and then the bus gets a yellow light and flies by her <laughs> to make it. And she keeps running after it, like, no, until she's in the middle of the intersection and she turns to the sky and she screams, I can't take this anymore! <laughs> and I was like, that's future me! <laughs> You know, like, well, it's already happening and I've been away for 10 years, so. Um, uh, thank God I left Ohio, though, for real. <laughs> if I didn't leave Ohio, I would have married the first boy that didn't give me an orgasm, and uh, I would have never come out. Uh, I, I would have come out now because of, like, the, the dudes, it's, well, okay, it's because Ohio lesbians are scary. There, I <laughs> direct homophobia their entire lives, and they become ardent lesbians, and they would hate me, a city duck who wears tanny packs for fun, you know? <laughs> I couldn't handle one day on the farm, you know? <laughs> oh, man, you guys, it's kind of weird not having a mic, I just want to roam around a bit. Okay, good. Um, you <laughs> improvise on the stage. Uh, can you tell? Um, <laughs> Woke up the next 
next day, and I was like, wow, I did it, okay. <laughs> like, uh, and um, she will go like, that was fine. Uh, <laughs> and um, I found out, like, I woke up and I had a few missed calls from my mom, and I was like, oh no. Uh, it's too early for calls from my mom, you know, on a Saturday. So I call her back and I find out that my childhood dog had died overnight. And, um, and I was like, don't read into it. <laughs> Just because you had sex with a lady, it doesn't mean your dog had it And that same day, we had to take our cat to the vet, because it was sick. And there, we find out that her cat has cancer, and has to be put down within the week. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? <laughs> is this a superpower that I have now? No. What has, if I finger a lady over here, does a crow fall from the sky? So hold on to your pets tonight. Um, <laughs> woman and I will be fucking okay. Uh, she would hate it if I said that. I'm so sorry. Uh, <laughs> she would really hate it. Uh, she's like, don't say fucking. <laughs> um, uh, oh my god. I've been trying to like cut back on drinking and trying to lose weight or like just like feel better, you know. Uh, but I'm trying to like I can't. I can't get sober and skinny though because like then my mom wins. Like just try to find happy medium. But I did. I started like working out, and I, over the summer, you know, I work at a school, so like I get the summers off, and so I was like, I'm gonna bike down to the public pool, do some laps, and bike home. That'll be a nice little workout routine in the morning. And so, like, one day I was, like, biking, and I hit a pothole hard on my bike. And, um, and I was just in my bathing suit and flip flops because I thought I didn't need anything else. So I fall, and I scrape up my whole body, and, uh, you know, I hit my head on the way down, and I'm feeling real bad, and, like, I was like, okay. But luckily there was a CVS right there, so I was like, I'm just gonna go in there and, like, clean myself up in the bathroom and, you know, get, up, get back to the pool, you know, have fun that bike. So I go into the CVS and um, I have to get some hydrogen peroxide and bandages and uh, they let me into like the staff bathroom, which was like so kind to them. And so I start like cleaning myself up and you know I like I'm starting to do it and then I'm like starting to like feel like woozy and a little lightheaded. So uh, so I just drag a full size garbage can into the store with me. You know, no big deal. I'm fine. <laughs> Um, and so I take a little snooze and I wake up and um, I start cleaning myself out and you know and I take a little nap again and I wake up and I'm cleaning myself and you know, I go back and forth, back and forth and you know, and you know, up, now I have to use the bathroom. <laughs> I'm in a one piece bathing suit. So I'm naked in the CVS bathroom. <laughs> Go out. <laughs>